to 52 Weeks of Beauty. Today's video is going to be about my March favorites. I don't think any month this year is going to top March. I just don't see how it's possible, but I guess you never know. But this month was just so incredible for me. March 8th, I got engaged, and March 17th was my birthday, so it was just a really fun month. I've been having like the best time ever planning and you know just like looking at all the bridal magazines and just I'm just having so much fun so I'll go ahead and I'll show you my proposal story at the end of this video but I just want to kind of fill you in on some of my March favorites the first one is something I got for my birthday and it is from my dad Let's see if I can get a little bit close but it's Marc Jacobs it's rose gold watch and um, I saw this originally on Instagram on this picture I don't know how close you can kind of see on that. But um, I just like fell in love with it. I was like, this is the cutest watch ever. I must have it. Oh my goodness. And so that's the one I got. I still want to get the other, you know, pieces of jewelry that are with it. But I'm still, you know, I have to find that still. But anyway, so that is one of my favorites. The other favorite is my new Toms. I just saw these at Nordstrom, but I saw them in yellow. And they didn't have this color out. So I went online and I looked and it seemed like this color is only exclusive to Nordstrom. I didn't see it on the Tom site. It's just like a khaki, but it has like little, you know, mesh holes or whatever you want to call. But I just thought it was like so cute and um, I love the bottoms and I think it's perfect for spring. So I'll be wearing these a lot. Speaking of spring, I made another flower ball. <laughs> so this was like a Pinterest inspiration. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this already, but it's just made from cupcake liners. And basically all I did is I had to get a bunch of these, which are pretty affordable, but, and they had, you know, so many pink ones. Wow, that's loud. So many pink ones in each. But I just took it, I had one of the pins that has like the little, let me pull one of these out. So, little something like this. So inside is the pin at the top. And you just poke it through the, like the middle center. And then all I did was like fold it in half, fold it in half again. So it kind of looks like that. When you put it in there, they can kind of, you know, they spread out just a little bit. And it's just in the styrofoam ball. And yeah, I just, I think it's so cute and it's fun. It's really good for like bridal showers or maybe bachelorette party tables or anything like that. Or just in general, like you just want to keep it somewhere fun and it's very inexpensive to make. The carnation one that I had talked about before, that's the, you know, fake carnations from Michaels. I think that's like $30 total. This one's like 10 maybe. So yeah, it was just a fun little thing to do. Okay, another favorite is what I got from Pat for my birthday and it is this Tiffany's bracelet. Let's see if I can kind of get up a little bit and show you. So this is the, um, it's just the infinity knot, you know, forever knot or whatever you want to say. I love Tiffany's bracelets. He got me this one forever ago and it just holds up through everything. I've had this for years and I love it. Um, he also got me this Tiffany's necklace. So I feel like now everything's like Tiffany's like fun from him and it's just like special to me. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you is like a favorite on my phone. Maybe you guys already know about this, but I didn't. I might be the last to know. Unless one of you guys don't know, and then you can be the last. But this is like, you know how where you have those symbols if you have like a smartphone where you can text and put like a heart or a smiley face or a flower or anything like that? Well, I didn't realize that you could add it to their name. So like on Sweet Baby Sugar, <laughs> you can add it to the name. So I just think that's so cute. So whenever I get a text that I see all these like fun colors pop up too and I'm like, oh, that's so fun. I love it. So anyway, that's just something little. And yeah. another totally random thing is I'm like in love with these and I got these. I mail a lot of stuff, you know, eBay, Amazon, things like that. And um, even for my hair extensions too. And this is so nice because usually I just take a ton of tape and go over all the labels. If you ever mail boxes, even like goody gift boxes to your friends or family, or if you mail anything to anyone, like you, unless you have like a way to protect the top, I always worry about rain or it's smudging the, you know, the address. So I used to just put tons of scotch tape all over the top of the label. And I'm like, obviously I'm wasting so much tape. I went and researched these. These are on eBay and they are so like, they're so cheap. They're like $2 for a bazillion of them. So um, and that includes shipping. I think it's two for two dollars for like 50 of them something really affordable Anyway, what you do is you put your label in there for your address And then you just take off the top and the bottom and you put it on there and it is it just protects it so nicely I got this idea when I was at the post office and they did this for me one time and I'm like, huh? Cool, 
So I got to be able to figure out how to do this myself, and I was. So I think that's like, this is just a really fun thing, and I think it protects your packages, and anyway, really cheap. Okay, I wanted to talk about, you know, if you have weft hair extensions, so let's say you have either tape-in or glue-in or sew-in, anything where you actually take the weft and it's on your head, and if you ever, like, whenever I used to have sew-ins, you know, I have tape-in now, but when I used to have sew-ins, I used to... Like, you know, when you comb your hair, if you're not always holding right here, the bottom track is what loosens first. And I actually did have that happen with the quarter inch tape. You know, I told you it's like a little bit thinner, so it's not like, I don't know if it'll last as long as the six to 10 week one. Well, you know, would with a half inch, but I'm giving it a whirl and I still really like it. Like I said, it's a lot flatter. However, there is a part that um, started to come loose. And I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't want to put glue on that weft and then glue that on. I don't want to cut another piece of tape and like flat iron it really close to my head, you know, while the other part of the tape is still on. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to remove the whole weft and start over. So I'm like, I really want, I know I'm going to have another three weeks with this hair. So I'm like, what can I do? And honestly, this is what I came up with. This little barrette, you know, these snap bend clips, well, it's kind of the same concept as what's on clip-in hair extensions, except those have to be sewn on with those little holes. They don't just kind of, you can't really just use it by itself. This, I actually just go right up with the weft onto my hair for that part that's slipping. And because this bends in such a nice arched way, it really just goes right against my scalp and it's very flat. And uh, I just like loved it. I even showered with it in just to test it out and it stayed. I was like, huh. So it's very tight. It's, I just wish I could figure out how to, I want to make my own clips like this. I'm like, how, what kind of metal is this? But um, anyway, I went and bought a few other clips too because I'm like, wow, if that works, maybe these big old ones will work, but it didn't. So anyway, just this normal little clip. I think just this is a good emergency. So you don't have to use glue. You don't have to like run to your sewing person like, oh, help me this one part. You know, this will get you through. And it's very indetectable and it's very flat against your scalp. And I just thought it was like a fun tip I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, another thing I'm gonna talk about since we're talking about hair anyway, is um, my highlighting kit. I stopped going to get my hair professionally highlighted because I just was getting so annoyed that I don't have that much hair. Like when I take my extensions out and I go get my hair highlighted, it's really not that much hair. If you saw my before and after on my tape and you know. So I'm like, I'm spending $200 and then they always upsell me on shampoo and conditioner and then I tip and it's like $300 and I'm like, forget this, you know? And if I could just be strong, then okay, it'd be $200 for a full highlight and low light. And you know, sometimes I can do partials and get away with that, but I was just like, forget it, I can do this myself. So I just started doing it myself. I love this highlighting kit. I found a great low lighting option too. So now I just highlight low light myself. I'll do a video on that um, soon and kind of show you exactly how I do it and everything. But uh, yeah, way cheaper. This is like $10, so. And the low light kit's even cheaper than that. It's like $8 or $7 or something. So uh, yeah, much more affordable and I don't have to go sit in a salon chair forever. I can just do it whenever I feel like it at home while watching a movie or something. So, hmm, I like that. Okay, another favorite is these hair ties, and I'm sure you've seen them, but they're cute. They just, you know, you can put them on your wrist, you could do different colors, they can match your outfit. They sell a bazillion of them on Etsy for really affordable, so that's where I got mine. Um, but I'm sure they're super easy to make too, but I really like them because there's no metal, it's still cute in your hair, the little knot sticks out when you put your hair in a bun or a ponytail, and, um, they're really nice. My favorite like lip products that are liners and one lip gloss I wanted to show you. So I'm really, I've always been searching for like the perfect nude lip liner, maybe like a nude and like a soft pink because I feel like it's so hard to find and you find it but then it's either like completely too nude or too pink or too bright or too brown or something. So these are my favorite too. This is Rimmel and this is in color 063 East End Snob. So I really like this one. The other one is Rimmel also. Okay, I don't even think I realize they're both the same brand. Um, 049 and Natural. So I'll swatch them for you and then show you kind of the difference. So I guess I don't like it super nude because it would just kind of in a really olive -y complexion. So I think that would kind of mute me out or whatever you want to say. Anyway, so this is the um natural one is this one and then the east end snob is the more pinky one one day i'm gonna get a camera that actually zooms and focuses for you guys and i'm going to yeah um okay the next is i don't know if you know about this lip gloss but this is like fabulous 
I went to a wedding and I saw this girl. She's just like walking towards me. I was like, oh my gosh, her lips are so beautiful. I was like, I have to ask her, you know? So I was like, um, what color lip gloss or lipstick are you wearing? I have to know. And she was like, oh my gosh, it's like wet and wild. It's super cheap. You get it from Walgreens. And um, anyway, she said it was, I think she had to go to her purse and get it because she didn't know exactly, but it's the Bronze Berry 568. And it was so crazy because I have a friend and after like that happened, I went to the gym and I was wearing it. She's like, what lipstick are you wearing? I was like, you've got to be kidding me. She's like, I love it. And I told her, she goes, oh my gosh, I'm in love with that too. And she goes, I was wearing it the other day. And another girl came up to me and she's like, what are you wearing? I was like, oh my gosh. So, okay, I'll swatch this for you. So it doesn't, I don't know if you can really tell a lot from this, you know, like I said, my camera's not the best. But it has like a sparkly, bronzy, peachy, pinky color, and it's just really, really, really pretty. I think it just catches the light in a certain way, and anyway, if you do a little like Googling about it, people will like just rave about it, and it's so cheap. So if you're ever giving like a cute little gift to someone, maybe give them this and a cute nail polish and tie a ribbon around it. Okay, so my next favorite would just have to be random, and it's just TV shows. So I love like DVR. I don't know how I lived without it ever. But I was gonna say my boyfriend. My fiance and I always DVR a certain few programs that I wanna share with you guys if you haven't heard of them yet. Um, Millionaire Matchmaker, totally in love with that show. I think it's just like the best show ever. Like just to kind of unwind and get away. It's like an hour long. And every single part of the show is so exciting. You know, first they're going through the candidates of who the millionaire people they're gonna, you know, set up on dates, who they're gonna be, so that you, they interview that, and that's really exciting, or they interview those people, and that's really exciting. And then they go and they have like a cocktail reception, or then they interview all the, can all the potential daters. And then that's really funny to watch because she's like, no, you're gross and oh, you're totally cute and you're in. And then the other one is then after the selection process is over, they have like the cocktail party and they get to meet all of these people and then they pick their favorites and then they go on the date and then you find out what happens in their future relationship. Like, are they still together? It's just so much fun. Like, I'm excited for every part of that show and it's just, yeah, love it. Okay, the next one would be Shark Tank. I love, if I could have like three million businesses, I would, because I always have different ideas. Like, gosh, I wonder if I can make this, or has anyone made this before? Or how could I do this and make a bazillion dollars tomorrow? So I just think it's fun. Like we sit there and we watch the Shark Tank. There's so many amazing ideas and so many fun things for businesses that actually you're like, oh my gosh, I totally could have thought of that. <laughs> like, why didn't I think of that? And um, anyway, then these people go off and have like the best life ever. But I think it's just like a really fun show to kind of like put my business brain to work and and just kind of, you know, dream up like all the wonderful things that I wish I could do one day. But anyway, I love that show and it's so much fun. My other favorite show is Four Weddings. And Four Weddings, someone's like walking their dog, it's like catching my eye right now. Okay, so Four Weddings. And Four Weddings is, um, it's a TLC program. And basically it's like they videotape four different you know, four girls that meet randomly as strangers and then they go to each other's weddings and they analyze them and then the person that they, you know, rank the highest based on the venue and the dress and um, the food and one more thing that I can't remember. The venue, the dress, the food, and overall experience, I think, something like that. And the person that wins gets their honeymoon paid for or a dream honeymoon. Maybe they already had a honeymoon, but you know, something that's just like amazing. So I love watching that. I didn't really like watching it before I was engaged. So maybe it's really only because like now every time I watch one of them, I'm like, oh, I could do that. Oh, I like that. Or, oh no, I wouldn't do that. Like Pat and I watch it and we like agree on certain things. Like we are definitely not having that. Agreed? Agreed. Okay. We're totally doing that, right? Yep. So I think that's fun that, you know, otherwise I don't know that we would have like seen all of these crazy things and some of them have been really inspiring like I've really gotten some great ideas from watching this show so anyway okay enough wedding talk well not really because now we're going to the proposal story so I'm going to go ahead and show you a little clip of the proposal story we kind of put it together for friends and family but I wanted you guys to see too because I want to go ahead and do you know little you know kind of videos about my you know just journey over the next year and my wedding pictures in the end, you know, like after it all happens and all of that. So I figured I wanted to kind of involve you guys from the start and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll be back in just a second.
Okay, so that was our proposal story. Thanks for watching and thanks for watching this video. And I will be back again next week for I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. But um, I'll have the video up in about a week or so. And I hope you guys are having a great week. And I'll see you soon. Bye.